Today we're going to talk about Virtual Boy emulation on the Xbox Series X and S version of RetroArch. Ah, oh, the Virtual Boy. I really don't have much to say about this system, other than I'm glad we can emulate it on a big giant display in this day and age. And that includes the Xbox Series X and S, which is why we're making this video. So, I'm going to show you how to get it set up. Let's dive in. To get started with Virtual Boy emulation on the Xbox Series X and S, you need to have RetroArch installed on your Xbox Series X or S. So refer back to my How to Install RetroArch guide if you need help doing that. Now, the only requirement to run Virtual Boy games on your Xbox Series X and S is to source Virtual Boy games. If you have a physical collection, you can use a hardware dumper or, you know, resort to the shady parts of the internet. I really don't give a crap which way you go about doing it, but don't ask me for illegal download links because they will not be provided. But once you have your Virtual Boy games sourced, they could be in .vb format or you could zip them, shouldn't matter either way, but you just need to decide if you want to place them on USB or the internal SSD of your Xbox. For my intents and purposes, I'm going to store them on USB, but once you have your games placed where you'd like, go ahead and close out of everything, and if you're using USB, take it out of your computer and put it in your Xbox. Now back over on your Xbox, go ahead and get booted into RetroArch. And once RetroArch has finished loading up, we're free to begin loading up Virtual Boy content. So one method to do so is to go to Load Content, navigate to the directory you have your Virtual Boy games in. So if you have them on USB like I do, they'll be under E. Then you can select a game and tell it to run. Or if you have them on the internal SSD, they'll be under S. Program Files, Windows Apps, RetroArch folder, your Made Games folder, and then you can find your Virtual Boy games folder, select a game and tell it to run. I don't personally care for this method, so what I like to do instead is make a game's playlist. So head over to your main menu, go down to import content, and let's do a manual scan. From here, choose content directory, navigate to the directory you have your Virtual Boy games stored in. So for me, again, I have them on the USB, but if you have them on the internal SSD, follow that S drive path. System name, press right on your controller to scroll down to Nintendo, and find Virtual Boy. Default core, press right on your D-pad, Nintendo and find the Virtual Boy Beetle VB Core. Make sure Scan Recursively is set to on if you have your games separated into subfolders, and if you have them zipped up, make sure you have Scan Inside Archives on. Once these options are set, start the scan. And now you have a new Virtual Boy playlist entry here on the left. And to play a game, all you need to do is press A on it and tell it to run. And there we go, Virtual Boy games up and running on the Xbox Series X and S. I am grateful that this core is nice and simple to get set up. That way you can just dive into playing some really red colored games. But Virtual Boy games run pretty well on the Xbox Series X and S. The 3D effect can be a little hard to get used to at first, but overall it can be an enjoyable experience. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of the core options available to us within the Beetle VB core. So going into our RetroArch quick menu and going down to options, our first option is a 3D mode. So if you happen to have a 3D capable display, you can actually choose to enable such features within the Vital VB core. Or if you don't, you can choose anaglyph display. So if you have a pair of like those red blue 3D glasses, you can actually enable those for Virtual Boy 3D effect on any display. And then you can choose the preset to match your color of glasses. So red, blue, it's cyan, red and electric, green and magenta, yellow and blue. Or if you don't plan to use it, just leave it off. And that way you just have the normal Virtual Boy color palette, which you can then select with our next option, Virtual Boy color palettes. You can make it so the games aren't so blindingly red. So I just like to set mine to black and white personally, but there's a lot of options you could choose from here to make Virtual Boy games look better for your personal tastes. Next up, right analog to digital. I like to turn this one on. Next up, CPU emulation, and we have the choices of accurate and fast. On Xbox Series X, you could just leave this on accurate with no penalties. So just leave it how it is. And that brings us to the end of our core options. If there are any options you want to have set for specific games but not others, you could go into manage core options here and save them as a game options file. But that's going to do it as far as Virtual Boy emulation setup is concerned on the Xbox Series X and S. Not much to this one. Get your Virtual Boy games, put them on USB or the internal SSD, load them up, and begin playing. It's just the best. 
As always, if you happen to have any questions regarding setup of the Virtual Boy Core, feel free to ask me down in the comments below and I'll do my best to try to help you out. Now, if you could all do me just the hugest of favors, if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that sub button so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Lots of content coming your way, and we're super grateful to all of you for helping us grow this place. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen to help us continue bringing content just like this to all of you. A little really helps us go a long way and we're super grateful to all of our current backers who have done so and just give us the greatest support anyone could ever hope for. Thank you all so much for being our champions, rock stars, and just amazing people. But that's going to do it for this one. So until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome and we will see you back next video.